Now we ask you about us in prayer and meditation as Elder Levi Samuel shall lead us in prayer. Eternal Father, we do come before you once more. We're thanking you for your loving kindness. We're thanking you for your one and only true plan of salvation that you have brought down from heaven. Lord, you have given your life for us on the cross. You say it's not your will that any should perish but should come and have everlasting life. Lord Jesus, we are thanking again for a leader, an apostle, Bishop Belton Green. Continue to have mercy upon him, O God, and bless him. Lord Jesus, in his affliction, all things are possible if you only believe. We thank you again for our assistant pastor, Bishop Melvin Samuels, as he comes forth to deliver the word of God, telling the world what they must do to be saved. Lord Jesus, we ask you to anoint him. Bless him, O oh God, and keep him as he continues to fly over the airwaves. My God, we're asking, O oh God, to give him strength and give him utterance and build him up. Lord Jesus said, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached throughout the whole world for a witness, and then shall the end come. Lord Jesus, we know that the end is near. Help the people to look up, run for their life, get baptized in water. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, help them to live a holy and sanctified life right here in this present evil world. Lord Jesus, we are praying for the president and his cabinet. We are praying for all mankind all over the world. Lord Jesus, for those who are tuning to this radio broadcast, we ask you to give them strength, O oh God, and give them a mind that they will consent to this gospel that is going out by way of radio. Lord Jesus, those that are sick, those that are cast down. David said, what thou cast down, O oh my soul? What thou disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him. Lord Jesus, help the people to praise you, worship you, those that are behind the prison bar, those that have no hope. Lord Jesus, remember our congregation, that someone will cry out today, say, what shall I do to be saved? Remember our red choir as they sing the songs of Zion. Ever bless your melodious voices that someone will turn and say, this is the place I want to be. Bless your people here, there, and everywhere. Lord Jesus, when you come back, oh, you glorious church, help us that we may be found in that number. Crown him King of kings and Lord of lords. Bless us and keep us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen and amen. Friends and neighbors, you're tuned to the Bible True God's radio service coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Belton Green invites you to visit us here at Headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Sunday, noonday. Now, in case you're interested in reading some biblical literature, the mailing address is Bishop Belton Green, P.O. Box 523, Bronx, New York City, zip code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. We will now select you from the Holy Temple Senior Radio Choir, dedicated to our radio listeners entitled, Keep on the Fire and Line. You're in a battle for the Lord and right. Keep on the fiery line. If you win your brother, surely you must fight. Keep on the fiery line. Oh, there are many dangers that we all must face. If we die trying, there is no disgrace. Put your trust in Jesus and you win this race. Keep, Keep on, on the fiery line. Now let us fight, be brave against all evil. Never, never run, evil lag behind. If you are with me for the Lord and right, keep on the fiery line. If you win your brother, you must fight. 
If you win your brother, surely you must fight. Keep on the fiery line. Oh, there are many dangers that we all must face. If we die trying, there is no disgrace. Put your trust in Jesus and you win this race. Keep on. Oh, now let us fight, be brave again. Oh, never, never. Oh, no, you never let me out. Oh, yeah, you are witness for the Lord. Keep on the fiery line. Now let us fight, and be brave again. Oh no, never, oh no, even left behind, if you are winning for the Lord, keep on the fiery If you're in a battle for the Lord and right. If you win your brother, surely you must fight. Keep on the fiery line. Oh, there are many dangers that we all must face. If we die trying, there is no disgrace. Put your trust in Jesus and you'll win this race. Keep on the fiery line. Oh, now let us fight and be brave against. Oh, no, never. Oh, no, evil like Oh, if you are witness for the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Now let us fight and be brave against. Oh, no, never. Oh no, evil light. Oh, if you are winning for the Lord. Yes. Oh, now let us fight. We pray against everything that ain't right. Evil light. Oh, yes. If you are winning for the Lord. Come on. Oh, now let us fight, be brave against, oh no, never, never run, keep a light behind, if you are winning for the Lord, come on, oh, now let us fight, be brave God's soldiers, Come on and join in. Oh, yes, if you are winning for the Lord, come on. Yes, now let us fight. Be brave against. Oh, no, never, never run. Either like me. Oh, if you are winning for the Lord, come on. Come on, soldiers. Come on, come on. Yes, Lord, let us fight. Be praying. Everything evil. Don't you run. Don't be behind him. You are winning. Come on, keep on. Yeah. Oh, now let us fight. Be praying. Hug this. Everything that's wicked. Come on, hallelujah, come on, yeah, oh, now let us fight, be brave against, oh yes, don't you run, come on, if you are winning, oh, come on, come on, 
Come on, come on. Now let us fight. Be brave. Hot game. Oh, evil. Yeah. Don't you run. Come on, if you are winning. Come on. Yes. Now let us fight. Be brave. Hot game. Come on. Come on, let's be soldiers. In the heart of the Lord. Come on. You know you're with it for the Lord. Come on and fight. Come on, fight, fight. Yeah, now let us fight. Come on, let's fight together. Let's fight this devil. He's the enemy. Come on. Come on, don't leave me high. Get with us and fight. Hallelujah. Yes! Now let us against every wicked thing. Come on! Come on and join in this fight! Come on! It's for the Lord! Soldiers! Now let us be brave against Oh yes! Don't you run! Join in in for the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now let us fight. Be brave again. Never, never run. Even like we are. If you are winning. Yes. Keep on. Friends and neighbors, you're tuned to the Bible True Gospel Radio Service, coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Belton Green invites you to visit us here at Headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Sunday, noonday. Now, in case you're interested in reading some biblical literature, the mailing address is Bishop Belton Green, P.O. Box 523, Bronx, New York, zip code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. There is no speech, no language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone throughout all the earth and their words to the end of the world. To all the bishops, elders, ministers, deacon, and brethren charge of work, holy greeting to all the saints in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, for you all making requests with joy, for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day unto now, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. We are bound to give thanks for each and every one of you, your great sacrifice and labor of love for, your, for the work of the Lord, which was great, greatly blessed spiritually and financially. Thanking God for our 57 National International Holy Convocation, which was a great success. Many souls were blessed and went away rejoicing. As the scripture said, then the people rejoiced, for that they offer willingly because with a perfect heart, they offer willingly to the Lord. And David the king also rejoiced with great joy. Our 57 National International Radio Anniversary of the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ will convene at headquarters, 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City, on Monday, October the 3rd, and will continue through Sunday, October the 9th. Service nightly at 7.30 p.m. Sunday noonday. We will have our 57th Annual Radio Anniversary Talent Service Saturday, October the 8th. Prayer will begin at 6 p.m., followed by talent service. All are welcome. The Lord has done and is doing a mighty work through the radio broadcast. Many of the saints today came to know about the Holy Temple by the way of the radio broadcast. Many souls are being saved and comforted by the gospel. Time will fail me to tell you all of many phone calls and letters I have received here at my office from far and near, where many souls are being helped. You all have my sincere prayer 
fervently out of the depth of my heart with much love and sincerity. I look forward to seeing you all, but if for some reason you cannot attend, do your best to send in a good report to help in these great and needed cause. Make all check payable to the Holy Temple Church. May the God of all comfort comfort your heart until we meet again. Peace be unto you. I remain yours contend for the faith. Bishop Belton Green, Apostle, Pastor, and General Basir. Bishop Melvin Samuel, Assistant Pastor. Now at this time, it is my pleasure to present unto you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. The next voice you hear, the Assistant Pastor, Bishop Melvin Samuel. Cry loud. Spare not. Oh, I'm going to lift up my voice like a trumpet sound show my people their chance oh the house cry loud spirit now I want to lift up your voice like a trumpet sound. Show my people their trans oh, oh, the house. Oh, oh cry loud. Let us lift up our voice like a trumpet sound. Show my people their transgression on the house of their sin. Amen. Let the church say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Indeed, again, we do give great honor, praise to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the head of our life, the one who is worthy of all the praise. Indeed, he is worthy of all the honor. Amen. Truly, we do thank God for honor, beloved bishop and apostle, bishop, Belton Green, thank God for him once more allowing me this opportunity, the privilege to come before you all in Raiderland, far and near, filling in his stead once more. Thank God for the word of the Lord because we know it's going to be just like God said it. I have no doubt in my heart that the purpose of God it's going to stand forever. Praise God. And I'm thanking God for the people of God. Thank God for that wonderful selection coming from the Raider Scene Choir. Amen. Thank God for having a mind to stay on the firing line. My God, we don't have a drawback bone in us. We have a mind to go forward. I got to fight the good fight of faith so we may lay hold of eternal life. Eternal life is involved. Amen. And that's why we are fighting and laboring, doing all in our power. Thank God. We thank God for the people of God of a mind to praise God. Tell of his wondrous work. That is doing among us in his lost and evil days. And I'm very thankful. I'm very grateful for the truth of the gospel that is going forth throughout all the world. The world won't have no excuse when Jesus come. Thank God for the ones that are out there. Acknowledge the truth. It's a blessing to have a mind. When you can acknowledge the word of God to the acknowledging of the truth. 
You know, you don't have a mind to fight the truth, but you have a mind to acknowledge the truth. And I'm thanking God for each and every one of you out there, you that are listening to our radio broadcast, you that are calling in, and thank God for your response. And we are praying for you all, you far and near Mississippi and other parts in Tennessee and many other parts that are calling in. We want you to know we are praying for you. Because I know everybody going to have to line up with the purpose of God. The purpose of God going to stand forever. Amen. No man going to come along and change the purpose of God. God. No man going to have no excuse Amen. when Jesus come. He's saying certain place, say, if I have not come and done among you the work which no other man no man, no other man could have done it. My God, he said, he told me, he said, Solomon, the queen of Sheba came from far to hear yes. the wisdom of Solomon. But he said, a greater than Solomon we here. My God, a greater than Jonah. My God, he was God Almighty. That's why the world, mankind, nowhere, you better get me, I believe that's in, in St. John chapter 15 and the 22nd verse. My God, the world won't have no excuse. That's why everybody better humble themselves and come and line up with the word of God. Because it's going to stand forever. Listen what the word of God say. If I had not come. If I have not come. Come and spoken unto them, spoke and unto them, they ha had not sinned. My God, they uh, have not sinned, but now, now they have no cloak for their sin. My God, you don't have no cloak. My God, you don't have no, the world don't have no excuse. Listen what the word of God say. They, they would have no cloak for their sin, for their sin. He that hateth me, my God, they hate him. Oh, yeah. He said, if they hate him, they, they will hate you also. also. Mm -hmm. My God, he said, if they do it to a green tree, what shall they do to a dry tree? They hate him. That's right. My God, oh, yes, they hate him. He that hated me. He that hated me. Hated my father also. Hated my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did. Solomon couldn't do it. Hallelujah. Praise God. David couldn't do it. No, sir. My God, Peter says, the falca is with us. Until this My, day. Until this day. Praise God. David killed Goliath. He killed, he fought a lot of battle, but he couldn't deliver man from sin. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. David himself had to cry out. Say, in Psalms 51, he said, have mercy upon me, O Lord. My God, David, say you need deliverance. But we're going a little further there. Yes. If I have not come. If I had not done among them. Done among them. Works which none other man did. No other man. They had had sin. No they other had man mm -hmm. could have done. They had not had sin. No other man. Praise God. Which no other man. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Did. Did. They had, had not sinned. They have not sinned. But now. But now. Have they both seen. My God. They have seen. Both seen and hate both me and my father. Me and my father. But this coming to pass. My God saying the world won't have no excuse. Amen. That's my great endeavor. Every time so somebody can turn from darkness to light. From the power of Satan to God Almighty. Otherwise the world don't have no excuse. Because he have come and he done. You better get me in Titus second chapter and verse 11. The world won't have no excuse. He tastes death for every man. Amen. He tastes death for every man. The Holy Ghost said thou art inexcusable. Oh man, 
supposed to ever the what? The word of God say in Titus chapter 2 and verse 11. For the grace of the God. The grace of God. That bringeth salvation. That bringeth salvation. Has appeared to all men. My God is coming your way beloved. It's up to you to accept it or reject it. But God gonna, you see, God, God is a just God. Yes, he, he gonna is. give you a chance. He gonna prepare, put it before you. And he gonna leave it up to you to accept it or reject it. But he said, the day that you hear his voice, I harder not your heart. Not your heart. It's God. coming your way over land and over sea. My God, you won't have no excuse. Listen what the word of God For the God grace said. of God. The grace of God. God bring it salvation. That bring it salvation. Has appeared to all oh, men. It's up. It's God gonna make it appear to you. He's gonna he gonna give you a chance. So in the day of judgment, when he call you on, my God, you won't have no excuse. It'll have appearing to all men. Teaching us. Teaching us. That denying ungodliness. Deny and godliness and worldly lust and, oh he teach you deny and godliness and worldly lust and worldly lust we should live soberly, we should live soberly righteously, righteously godly, godly in this present and then world you won't have no excuse hallelujah because it's a, if i have not come and done among you the works which no other man could have done they you, have not have, you have not sinned but now but now have hallelujah rich and poor wherever you are you won't have no excuse when you meet god almighty he done a work which no other man could have done so what the world need to do is to humble themselves and come and line up with the word of God. So the grace of God that bring that salvation, bring salvation has appeared it's to all coming men. your way. Whether you accept it or reject it, it's going to stand against you in the day of judgment. But it's coming your way, beloved. Yes. Have appeared to how many men? All men. All men. Teaching us. Teaching us. They deny that God deny and godliness and worldly lust. and worldly we lust. Can live so wish god telling you how we want us to live say present your body a living sacrifice holy and acceptable we should live how holy. so soberly yes. and holy real righteous righteous godly in the godly in this present world in this present world looking for that blessed looking hope looking for that blessed hope lord's appearing of the great god appearance the great god is and coming say with jesus and christ. he is coming hallelujah to god the great god is coming yes. my god i feel compelled to warn the people hallelujah whether you accept it or not the great god is coming yes. when he come you better get me now in i believe first corinthians chapter 15 and and 24 when he come yes. then come at the end the great God is coming. It's going to be an end, beloved. Whether you believe it or not. The great God. I'm warning the people. You better run for your life. You that are out there. The great God is yes. coming. The end is coming. Apostle Paul said, then come at the end. Come at the, end. the end is coming. Yes. Go out there and sport it up. Have your good time. But I'm warning you. The end is coming. It's going to be an end. Hallelujah. Then come at the end. Then come at the end. We shall deliver up the kingdom. He's going to deliver up the kingdom. To God. Hallelujah to God. Oh, we're going to deliver it up. My God, we're warning you now. The devil have you fighting it. But oh, we're going to put down all rules. Yes. We're going to deliver it up. Deliver up the kingdom of God. Hallelujah to God. The kingdom of God. Even the Father. Even the Father. He shall put down all rules. He's going to put down all rules. In authority. Hallelujah. He give us now. He give us power. And he give us authority. And over power. all devils. But when he come. Hallelujah to God. We're going to deliver it up. Yes. No more preaching. Hallelujah to God. 
The choir won't have to sing that song no more. We're going to deliver it up. up the Hallelujah. Sure we don't. won't have to fight no more. Your fighting going to be over. Your criticism going to be over. Your mockery going to be over. God going to have the last mock. Hallelujah to God. I feel like running. I feel like taking a bullhorn and run up and down Tremont Avenue. Run on the concourse and warn the people. The end is coming. Yes. Hallelujah to God. You won't fight no more. Your fighting days going to be over. Hallelujah to God. He going to put down all the oh, all the authority and power. Hallelujah to God. All what? All rule and power. And power. And authority. Hallelujah. Authority and power. Ah. Authority and power. Authority. Well, he must Hallelujah pray. to God. He going to take over now. Because he won't preach no more. Preaching day is going to be over. Cry I won't sing no more. Hallelujah to God. When I see Jesus, amen. When I see Jesus, it's going to be amen. I won't back no more. You won't fight no more. Your mocking day is going to be over. You won't mock no more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read on, sir. Then come the hey. come at Hallelujah to God. Ah. Then come at the okay. end. Come at the end. We shall deliver up the kingdom. Deliver up the kingdom. The Re God, read on. Even the Father, even the Father, when He had put down all put rule, all rule, and all authority, all authority, and power, and power, well, given, He has given to you power over all the powers of the enemy. Nothing shall by any mean hurt. But we're gonna put it when He come. Yes. It's gonna be all right. Oh, your fighting day is gonna be over. Hallelujah to God. All right, so read on. I put down all rule and authority. All rule and authority. And power. And power. For he must reign till he has put down all enemies. He must reign. Till he has put. He must reign. Yes. He going to put down. All enemies. All enemies. Under his feet. Under his feet. The last enemy. Hallelujah to God. Yes, sir. The last enemy. Last enemy. Shall be destroyed. Oh, he. We going to conquer that. Yes. Oh, say. Ain't no grave. Gonna hold our body down. Some of our loved ones sleeping. Hallelujah to God. But he said he dead in Christ. Yeah. Gonna rise first. We that are alive and remain. We're gonna be called up. Hallelujah to God. Fight on. But the church got a lively hope. We got a lively hope. We gonna call up. My God, we going on back. To be with him. He gonna call us off the job. You better get me first Thessalonians chapter four and verse thirteen. Why would I, I have you? I would not have you to be ignorant, ignorant brother. brethren. Concerning, them, concerning them which are asleep. So Some of our loved ones, they are sleeping. They don't preach and gone on to sleep. Peter sleeping. James sleeping. Paul sleeping. I laid a pastor. You criticize him now, but that's all right. He's sleeping in yes. God. You that are mocking and criticizing, call him liar. Bishop Johnson, call him whatever you want to call him. But let me tell you, the sir, God said the servant of the Lord must not strive. I got that. But they gone to sleep in God. They are sleeping in the dust, waiting. Hallelujah to God. Even they are what is that? But I would not have you ignorant. Have you ignorant, brethren? Brethren. Concerning them Hallelujah. Which are asleep, concerning them which are asleep. That is so not. That is so not. Even as other which have no hope. Our God is a shame to be in a world like this without no hope. Having no hope. Well, we believe. Strength. You know some people walking around without no hope. Some people don't have no hope. No hope. Is that Bible for that? No hope. No hope. No hope. No hope. Is that Bible for that? Yes. Let me see if some Bible there to back me up. Get me Ephesians 2 and 12. No hope. Out there in a world like this without no hope, you're in trouble. 
Ephesians 2 and 12. Listen at what? that time, at that time, you were without Christ. What a, what a, what, it's a terrible life to live a life without Christ. Yes. We were without Christ. And at that time you were without Christ. Without Christ. Being alien from the commonwealth of Israel. Alien from the commonwealth of Israel. And stranger from the covenant of the promise. Stranger from the covenant of the promise. Having no hope. I told you some out there without no hope. You better thank God for your hope. Come on, bitch. You better thank God for your Hallelujah. hope. Hallelujah. Somebody sing a song said don't give up. Don't lose your hope, church. Don't lose your hope. Having no Don't hope. let somebody come along and provoke you to lose your hope. Having no the one that provoke you and mocking, they don't have no hope. Oh. Having no hope. God in the world. Having, you want me to show you where the hope is? Having no hope. And without God. In the world. In the world. But now in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Ye who sometimes were far off. Read on. Are made nigh by the blood of Christ. By the blood. We got a lively hope. He tastes death for every man. But you know some people out there don't have no hope. That's why they're out there fighting and mocking. And some people, their hope is only in this life. That's right. That's what he, that's what he said. He say that in 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 19. If in this life only. Some people hope is only in this life. If in this life only. We have hope. We, your hope only is in this life, beloved. That's a terrible life to live. In this life if, only. In, in this life only. Only. We have hope. We in, have hope. In Christ. In Christ. We are all men most miserable. That's a miserable life. But thank God for we the saints of God. We got a hope beyond yes. the grave. I got a hope that I'm going to see my loved one one day. He all done laid and gone on before. Somebody sing a song. Say we're going to be united. Up on Zion Holy Hill. Oh yes we will. You better go on back to, to Thessalonians chapter First Thessalonians 4.13. Why wouldn't I have you be ignorant brother? A man of God said don't be ignorant. Brethren. Brethren. Concerning them which are asleep. Which are asleep. That ye saw not. Hallelujah. We know we miss them in the flesh. Yes. We would if they were still here. But we know they have a lively hope. They in the grave waiting that we sorrow not. Even Hallelujah. Even of others. Which have no hope. They're out there but they don't have no hope. Read on. For we believe that Jesus died. Jesus died. And rose again. And rose again. Even so them also were sleeping Jesus. You know, when, when you leave here, it's just a little sleep. Yes. Come on, that's, that's the hope Come of our saints. That's the hope of our saints. What's the matter with them? They, they don't went on to sleep. But here come God Almighty. Yes. He gonna wake them out to sleep. I God listen, uh, they also with sleeping yes. Jesus. We God bring with him. That's why we don't go on like the world go on. Come on. My God, God gonna bring him bring back with him. With him. But this we say unto you. This we say unto you. By the word of the Lord. It's by the word of the Lord. And we which are alive. We which are alive. And remain unto the coming of the Lord. Oh, somebody gonna be around till the coming of the Lord. They said there'll be some standing here yes. who won't taste death until they see him coming in the sky. Somebody gonna welcome his sweet return. Somebody gonna cry out, come now Lord Jesus. Somebody gonna be here to welcome the sleep with his sweet return. Some of us might go on to sleep. Hallelujah. But because you're gone on, that's not gonna separate you from the body. Hallelujah. Death won't separate you. My God, they also will sleep yes. in Jesus. Read on. Well, this we say unto you. Hallelujah. By the word of By the, the Lord. Word of the and Lord. We which are alive. Which are alive. And remain until the coming of the Lord. Read on. Shall not prevent them which are asleep. We, can't, we ain't going to stop the one that are asleep That's from getting up. Uh -huh. Read on. For the Lord himself. Oh, the Lord himself. Shall descend from heaven. Hallelujah. 
He gonna descend from heaven with a shout. Oh, he coming back with a shout with the voice of Hallelujah an angel. to God. He said, "Gather together, my saints, and to me, they that have made a covenant by the way of sacrifice." So he coming back with a shout. Yes, with the voice of a what? Of angel. Of angel. And with the trump of God. Oh, the trump of God. And the dead in Christ. Oh, the dead in Christ. The rise first. You that are sleeping in Christ. Hallelujah. They're going to rise first. When we with your life. Hallelujah. We that are still here. And remain. Hallelujah. And remain. So be caught up. Hallelujah. We're going to be caught up. Together. Oh, yeah, what a great change, saints. We're going to be caught up. Together. Hallelujah. Together. With him in to, the cloud. With him in the cloud. We'll meet the Lord to, in the air. Oh, we're going to meet him. We're going to meet him. In the Hallelujah. Air. I was one of our saints that's sleeping. I thank God for them. That buckle and God put them to rest. But one day, he's going to wake them up. And we that are alive and remain, and remain shall be caught up. We're going to be caught up. Together. Oh, we got to change. I thank God for all of you saints. Keep on fighting on. Keep on tabernacling on. Hallelujah. We're going to meet the Lord. In the air. In the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord. So we're going to be with the Lord. Wherefore. Wherefore. And for one another. It's a great comfort. It's a great comfort, saints. Yes. You comfort one another. With I words. tell myself it's not going to be like this all day. I got Job said when the wicked going to cease from troubling. Yes. The weary going to be at rest. rest. You won't fight all days. Your fighting day is going to be over. Hallelujah. Read on, sir. Wherefore, Wherefore, comfort one another. Comfort one another. With these words. With these words. Praise God. Huh? Amen. Comfort one another. With these words. With these words. My God, that's what we are doing. We are comforting you. Don't give up. Don't lose your hope. It, Hold on to your hope. Yes. The word of God said, which hope we have as an anchor to the soul. I thank God for a lively hope. We are tabernacling down here. Hallelujah. But a pastor Paul said, none of these things move me. Need account on my life dear to myself. Why, Paul, that I'm a finish my course. Go ahead and finish it, saints. Yeah. Go ahead and finish your course with joy. You're going to be so happy you endure. Hallelujah to God. I thank God for the mind to hang on in here. I don't have a mind to turn back. I got a mind to turn the back to the gate. We're going to turn the back to the gate true prayer, true fasting. You better fight on, saints. Fight on. Yes. Don't pay the one that knocking. Right, God, God say, you better get me in Proverbs chapter uh, 1, I believe, and verse 20. Wisdom crying without. You don't be stout-hearted. Don't be stubborn now and fool around out there. You better humble yourself. The day you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Uh, Proverbs chapter 1, 20. Read on wisdom. Wisdom cry without. It's crying without. She utter a voice in the street. In the street. She cry in the chief places in, of the concourse. In the chief places of the concourse. In the open of the gate. Open at the gate. In the city she utter her words saying. Saying. How long? How long? You simple ones. Wherever you are hearing this gospel now, and you not yet repent, you haven't yet been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear the word of God coming to you. How long? Ye simple one. He's simple Will one. Will he love simplicity? Will he love simplicity? And the scorn and delight in the scorn. In the scorning. And fools hate it not. Fool hate it knowledge. Turn you. All right. Do you hear what God is talking to you now? Turn you. God said, turn you. And my reproof. God said, turn. Turn. God said, turn. Come on, Bishop. Turn you turn wherever you. you are under the sound of my voice. God said, turn you. At my I'm reproof. not the one telling you. God telling you. Turn you. 
at my reproof. At my reproof. Behold. Behold. I will pour out my spirit unto you. Read on. I will make my no words known unto you. Read on. Because I have called you refuse. You re don't refuse the call of God. Whatever you do, beloved, don't refuse the call of God. Call and you refuse? Yes, I have scratched out my hand. See, his hand is stretched out. Yes, sir, Bishop. Read on. I have scratched out my hand. Read on. And no man regarded. Well regarded. But yes, said it not all my counsel. Said it not all my counsel. But none of my reproof. Wouldn't obey his word. Yes. Read on. I will also laugh at your calamity. There is a day you're going to call. But God say he gonna have the last yes, laugh. I will laugh at your I'm gonna laugh at your calamity. Mark when your fear comes. God say I'm gonna mock you when your fear comes. When your fear comes yeah. as a desolation. As a desolation. When your destruction, destruction comes as a whirlwind. As a whirlwind. When distress and yeah. anguish. Something coming up on this whole world. Yes. Read on. Distress and anguish come upon you. Read on. Then shall you call upon me. You see people gonna wait and think they're gonna have the good times poured it up. Rocking and rolling out there. But then you're going to wait till it's too late. That's it, Bishop. You're going to call. Then shall they call upon me? No, I will not answer. God said, I'm not. It's a shame. You're calling somebody and you know they hear you and they won't answer. I God will said, not answer. I will not answer. They should seek me early. Say you're going to seek him early. But they should not find you him. You won't find him. But that they hated knowledge. You hate the knowledge of they God. They choose the fear of the Lord. You better get me. I think it's in Jeremiah 7 somewhere there. 23. Jeremiah 7, 23. Yes. He said he sent his prophets mm -hmm. early. The seventh chapter of Jeremiah. I but think. this thing command I. I com God said I command you. Mm -hmm. What? Saying, saying, obey my voice. Won't you just obey, beloved? That's it, Bishop. You that are out there hearing this gospel, having yet been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. On the day of Pentecost, when they heard it, they were pricking their heart. They humbled themselves and yes. obeyed. Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said, said unto, unto them, Repent, repent and, be, and baptized. be baptized. Every, every one, one of you in the name of, in Jesus, the Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. For the for the remission of sin and he shall receive, and he the, shall gift receive the gift of the Holy Ghost well, the promise that unto you. is unto you and to your children, and to your children. To all that are far all off, are far off. As, many as the Lord our God shall call he said because I've called and you yes. refuse why are you refusing God call read on yes and they that God they receive were baptized same day were added unto the church. About 3,000 souls. They humble themselves and obey. Mm -hmm. Go on back to Jeremiah. But this thing command I them. I read on. Same. Same. Obey my voice. God said obey his voice. And I will be your God. God said if you obey me, I'm going to be I'm your obey. God. And I will be your God. I will be your God. And you shall be my people. And he shall be my people. And walk ye in the way. Walk ye in the way. That I command you. That I have commanded and it you. May be well unto you. Huh? That it may be well unto you. You see, you come. You can't. It won't be well unto you. Fighting God's word. And going against God's word. The way of a transgression is hard. That's right. It That's will right. not be well unto you. But he said, if you walk in his way and yeah. obey his word, it's going to be well unto you. Read on. But they hearken not. They hearken not. Nor incline their ear. Nor incline their they ears. They walk in the counsel uh, and imagination of their own evil heart. Their own evil heart. That's Read on. Heart. And went backward. They went backward. Not forward. And not forward. Since the day that your father came. Read on. Out of the land of Egypt. Read on. Unto this day. Unto this day. I have even sent unto you all my servants. Read on. That the prophet daily rising up early and send, sending them. We come in before you with the word time and time again. Yes. Read on. Yet. Yet. They hearken not unto me. They hearken not unto me. They won't incline their ears. They won't incline their ears. They harden their necks. People harden their necks against the truth. Yes, harden their necks. They did worse than their father. Did worse than their father. 
Wherefore, wherefore, thou shalt speak all these words unto them. All these words unto them. But they will not hearken to they, thee. They will hearken unto thee. They shall also call unto them. I call unto them. They will not answer thee. My God, that's a stiff neck rebellious oh, yes, nation. Amen. They will answer thee. Yeah. My God. God, but listen, but God say in his word in, in, in 2 Chronicles 7 and 12, if my people, yes. you that are hearing this gospel, if you can just humble yourself, if you're here right now, having yet been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin, when they heard this, they were pricking their heart, said unto Peter, to the rest of the apostle, men and brethren, what shall we do? Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. Go on now to Second Chronicles chapter 7 and 12. Yes. Read on. And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night. By night. And said unto him. Said unto him. I have heard thy prayer. Uh, what a blessing when God can, you know, you can't, God ain't hearing the prayer full of strife. Amen. People out here fighting and, and just fighting the word. Ain't nothing you have to fight what I'm preaching. No, sir. What I'm preaching and you watch somebody fight. One thing I'm preaching. I'm bringing forth the word of God. I'm preaching salvation. People out there not saved calling me say, you know, I thank God for you. One thing about you, you're not out there fighting and, and criticizing like others doing. You just get up and preach the word of God. He say, I love that about you. This is your gospel need to be heard all over the world. Yes. God will make it possible. My God, uh, you don't have to fight nobody. Just preach the word. That's what Paul charged him. Yeah. They preach the word. You don't have to get up, call nobody name. Amen. No, I just preach the word. I want to where my prayer can be heard. Yeah. God, God is not the order of confusion. You can out there full of strife and envy, hate. Like the Bible said, the servant of the Lord must not strive. Yeah. And then you're going to bow, call Jesus. I won't hear you. Get up. Go, go straighten out with your brother. You're full of malice, envy, full of strife, full of bitterness. I won't hear you. When God say he won't hear you. You don't believe me? God say, God ain't hearing everybody. Say, Lord, Lord, Lord. I got Bible can. I have Bible can back me up. What I'm preaching, I'm preaching with Bible behind me. You better get me Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 12. Be brief. God said, when you make many pray, I won't hear. I won't hear you. You get me? We hit it quick. Time running out at me. One and twelve. Yes. yes. When you come to appear before me. Say, when you come to appear before me. Who has required this at your hand? Read on. To thread on my court. Read on. Bring no more vain oblation. Vain obligation. Yes, incense or is an abomination. Incent is abomination. Unto me. Unto me. The new moon and your, the Sabbath. And your Sabbath. And the call of the sin. Read on. I cannot. God said, I cannot. Away with it. God said, get it away from it's me. It's iniquity. It is iniquity. Even a solid meat. Even your solid meat. Your new moon and your pointy feet. Read on. My soul hate. God, God said, I hate what you're offering me. My soul hates it. They are trouble unto me. You're troubling God with I'm it. I'm weary to bear it. I'm weary to bear it. And when you spread forth your hand. All right. Listen what God when said. You when forth, you spread forth your hand. I will hide my eyes from thee. I you. will hide my eyes from thee. Yay. Yay. When you make many prayers. Huh? When you make many prayers. When you make many prayers. I will not hear. God said, I ain't going to hear you. Why? Your hands are full of blood. You're full of blood. You, too, you, you have too much strive in you. You have too much bitterness in you. You're full of wrath. Get up from before me. Go get it clean. Go to your good one place. He told he told a lie and all Job three friends. Say, listen, you you better go to my servant Job. You haven't spoken to me. Let I deal with you. Yes, After he said, fast. him will I hear. Yes. Let it God have who we hear. God ain't hearing everybody. I said they should make in a, you, you have too much bitterness and strive in you. You ain't preaching for salvation. You're preaching full of strive. 
and uh, why well, you better let me run it I'm, I don't know if I'm going to get back to Chronicles but you better get me go go on down there you have too much wash crime. You. you have too much bitterness you got to get rid he said wash you make you clean make you clean put away the evil of your put doing that evil speaking from you put the corruptness from you we want you preach to save souls well get rid of all that rot yes. and bitterness in you God say I'm not going to hear you put it away get rid of it Amen. I'm, I'm trying to help you now but you got to be humble enough to take instruction because you can't help yourself you have too much bitterness and rot in you you need somebody to help you and bring you back to God all right. Watch That's you. the word of God now. You have too much strife in you. He's he, 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 not a man of God that we might inquire of him. Yeah. All right. God, he have got all the prophets. But he say, oh, Jehoshaphat say, is there not a man of God? I might inquire. Yeah, I know one. I got my care, but I hate him. I God, you can't get victory hating God preacher. It, You're full of hate and yes. bitterness. I'm laying it in the word of God. All right, you have too much strife, and you better get me Second Timothy chapter two and verse twenty-four. All right, I'm trying to help somebody now. You can't help nobody. Full of strife and bitterness. Second Timothy two. And 24. And the servant of the Lord. Do you hear what the word of God say? The servant of the Lord. Sir, are you a servant of the Lord? Yes. Read on. The servant of the Lord must not strive. Why are you striving so much? Must not strive. But be gentle. It, you got to be gentle. Unto all men. Unto all men. After to teach. Be gentle. Have patience with somebody. Give them a chance. Come you on, get Mr. up there fighting, calling them name. That's not going to help them. Be gentle. Yes. To all men. After to teach. After to teach. Patient. It takes a lot of patience. Right about that. You got you. to pray. You got to fast. He had to the church. You he ain't going to jump because you say jump. <laughs> Paul said for this cause, I Paul bow my knees. You're going to get on those knees. Yeah. You're going to knight those heads. Such thing only goes out but by prayer and fasting. All right, so read on. Be, be gentle. Janka. To all men. To all, how and many men? All men. You, uh, you know, I'm your brother. You better be janka to me. Praise God. To all men. I have to teach. I have, I have to be gentle to Bishop Green and all the same. And yeah. I have to be gentle to the one that fighting and calling me a name. Come on, I Bishop. get up, I got on my Come knees on, and I Bishop. pray for you. I, I pray have to for all you. Men. Be made for all men. I have to pray for the ones that fighting. Speak all manner of evil against you. Well, I have amen. to pray for them. Condition their heart, Lord. I pray an honest prayer. Set their heart to right. The mind not right. Set the mind aright. Right. The thought not right. Set the thought aright. They're full of fight and bitterness, strife. Set the thought. Set the oh, mind. Yes. I have to pray honest prayer for Amen. you. All right, be in gentle meekness, to in meekness. Instructing those. In, instructing that those. Oppose themselves. Oppose themselves. God pray adventure. God pray adventure. We give them repentance. Give them repentance to the acknowledge of the truth. To, so you can come back and acknowledge the That's truth. It. Yes. Read on. And that they may recover themselves. They want to recover themselves. Out of the snares of the devil. Devil don't take them captive. We're taking captive him. Have by somebody him. captive. And they're doing it and they think they're doing right. Some preach out there. Philippians 1 and verse 15. Have to move quick. Says some out there preaching yes. Christ. That's why I said don't believe every spirit. You better try the spirit. I got everything that said, Lord, Lord, he ain't going to enter in the kingdom. Listen to what the word of God said. Philippians chapter 1 and verse 15 now. Read on. Some indeed preach Christ. You better don't run with some. My God, you better believe it as the scripture have said. Yes. Some indeed preach Christ. Uh, even of envy. Full of envy. And strife. Full of strife. Some also of goodwill. Some doing it for goodwill. Some, the one preach Christ of contention. Full of con When they finish, everybody in contention. Mm -hmm. Full of contention. Not sincerely. Not everybody not sincere, beloved. But the Bible said the servant of the Lord must not strive. strive. 
Everybody not sincere. Mm -hmm. You better follow somebody that That's preaching right. the word of God to save honest heart. Amen. You better follow somebody crying out to save honest heart. They're not sincere. Yes. Not everybody not sincere. Some indeed preach Christ of envy. Envy. And strife. That's why the word, Paul, you know what he said? Let them alone. Jesus said, you better let them alone. Amen. My God, he said to you that that trouble come rest with us. Envy and strife. Yes, and some of also of goodwill. So I'm going to do it for goodwill. The one that preached Christ of contention. One going to preach Christ of full of contention. Not sincerely. Everybody not sincere. Mm -hmm. But thank God for the truth of the gospel. Somebody going to be sincere with oh, the yes. word of Amen. God. Say it's not his will that any should perish, right, but Bishop. that all should come to repent. I have a little time left so you can run on back to the second, second Chronicles chapter to uh, yeah. 7 and 12. What is it? The Lord appeared yeah. to Solomon to by night. So Solomon by night. And said unto him. Said unto him. I heard that prayer. What a blessing when you pray. Somebody, the choir sing a song. If you pray, yes. If you pray, you got the key to the kingdom. If you pray, oh uh, yes. Daniel pray, Daniel pray. When everything gone against Come him, on. Daniel went on yeah. and prayed. He used manner was to pray three times a day. Daniel went on back. I got that put him away to throw him, get ready to put him in the lion den. But when the writing was signed, Daniel prayed. Oh, yes, prayer will unlock the door. Hallelujah. Oh, they put, they put Paul and Silas in prison, beat them. But at midnight, they began to pray and sing. My God, pray, prayer, then lock them up with the keeper before the door. But prior and locked the door. There was a great earthquake. My God, and the prison door was open. Prior will open up something. They put Peter in prison, but the saints was praying. The church was praying. Prior were made to God by the church to God for him. And Peter was kept in prison, but prior unlocked the door. The, the angel without of ceasing. God, prior was made without, without ceasing. ceasing. Of the church unto That's God what for we him. are doing. We ain't gonna fight the weapon of our warfare and not carnal, but mighty true God. We're gonna pull it down. Stronghold. I see saints here with the victory. Some I haven't seen a long time, but prior turn it. I see Mother Oliver sitting here smiling. Prior turn it for her. I see some that were sick in the body, but prior turn it. God is a healer. God is a deliverer. I'm the Lord thy God that healed thee. God is a healer. I hear the mother Jackie testify. She was sick, but she waited on God. She here in church today. Who healed her? God is a healer. Hallelujah. My God, we are contending for the faith. People are wrecking the faith. But he said, if any is sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church. Let them pray over him. Anoint the Lord. In the name of the Lord, the prayer of faith shall save the sick. God promised he will raise them up. God is a healer. We are contending for the faith. I God, if my people, which are called by my name, well, what? Humble themselves and pray. And what? Seek my, my faith. faith. Turn from the wicked ways. He said, then I, I will, will hear, hear from heaven. God. You see, God can hear. God is a prayer answering God. He wants to hear. He listening. He listening. Yes. He listening. If my people. If my people. Which are called by my name. By my name. Shall humble themselves. Humble themselves. And pray. And pray. And seek my face. Seek thy face. And turn from their wicked ways. God know when you turn. He know when you turn. From their wicked way. Then will I hear from heaven. Ah. Huh? 
Then, then, will I hear from heaven? God said, I will hear from heaven. Will forgive their sin. For God, God is a merciful God. Oh, yes. All He wants you to do is humble yourself. Humble, humble, himself. humble. Say, the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. And his ears are open unto their prayer. All right, call me out there. In, in James chapter 4, I believe. James 4 and 6. That's what God wants you to do, all Amen. of you. you know, if you here not yet baptized, this is what you need to do right now. James chapter 4 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. But he give more grace. God will give you more grace. Wherefore he said. Listen what God said. Wherefore he said. Wherefore he said. God resisted the proud. Somebody said, why, why everything I try to do, I can't get what I want. Because God resisting you. Your way is perverse. He was were, he were resisting Balaam. Balaam hit the horse. And hit it. Say, he all said, God opened up the horse's mouth. Have I not been your faithful have I been at any time? He said, because you crushed. He said, if I have a sword in my hand, I would kill. He said, why you want to kill me? I have I at any time be like that. Then God opened up his eyes. And he saw the angel of God with the sword John. Say, if it have not been for that house, I would have killed you. Because your way is perverted. Yeah. God resisted. God resisted the proud. You better humble yourself. Read on. But give grace unto the humble. Give grace unto the humble. Submit yourself. Won't you just, if you hear not yet baptized or in Raider Land, wherever you are, call us up. Give them the phone number, sir. 718. 718. 584. 584. 06. Yes. 91. Uh, whatever way you can reach us, write to us. What is that? 718. What James say now? For God resisted the proud. Give, resist at the proud? Mm -hmm. but Read give on. Grace. Read on. Give grace unto the humble. Unto the humble. Submit yourself. Won't you submit? That's a way I submit. When they heard this on the day of Pentecost, they submit themselves. You think you're gonna you think God afraid of your looks? No. <laughs> you think you're gonna scare God? God asks Job, have you a voice like me? Like me? Can you thunder like I can? God can put something up on that flesh of yours and it just cave in. God says submit. Yes, yeah, submit yourself. Won't you submit to God right yeah, now? To God. To who? To God. To God. Resist the devil. Resist the devil. He will flee from you. He will flee from you. Draw nigh to God. Somebody right now need to say, Lord, I'm drawing nigh to you, Lord. Lord, Draw take all my God. heart. Wherever you are, tell God, take my heart. If you're here sitting down right now, he said, draw nigh to God. He will draw nigh to you. God say, if you draw nigh to me, I'm going to draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands. Cleanse sinners. your hands, these sinners. And purify your heart. Purify. Okay, say, clean up. Purify your heart. Be double-minded. You can't be double-minded. God bless you. God keep you. We'll be back next week, Lord's willing. The same station, same hour, the same day. You can call Bishop Belton Green at 718-584-0691. Again, you can reach Bishop Belton Green at 718-584-0691. You may also visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Again, you can visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Until then, may God richly bless you with our prayers. If you pray, you oh, got the yes. keys to the kingdom. And your faith will unlock the door. And if you fall down, I know 
wound is so if you pray. A sinner whole if you pray. Well, he is God. Yes, and I know he'll do just what he Oh, he will always. church that praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Let's give God a hand clap. You know, that's a true song. If you pray, I got prior and lock the door for Daniel. Prior and lock it for Peter. I got this church was praying. Prior and lock it for Paul and Silas. Prior and lock it for so many. If you pray, you got the keys to the kingdom. Prior will unlock the door. I see why Paul said, pray how much Paul without season. In everything, give thanks. My God, keep on praying, saints. Amen. Don't let nothing stop you from get your prior to. My God, I don't care what it is. Whatever you got to lay aside, lay it aside. Whatever you got to give up, give it up. So your prayer can be heard by God. Get rid of everything. Say all bitterness. You know, the enemy will make you, people will do things, make you get bitter. But you, you got to get rid of it. You got to get rid of that bitterness. Then you better get me Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 21. Say, even as Christ forgive you, you got to forgive that. You know, I thank God for the man of God. He taught me, he said, son, you got to forgive people before they ask you for forgiveness. He said, if they don't never come back and ask you, you go ahead and do it. So you prior won't be hindered. 
You got to, you got to, you know, people will, and will use somebody to block you, to handle you, Brian. You're doing a good job. My God, my I live in this city, my I live in say, you make a start for heaven. What do you say, my I live Don't, you see, you see, my I live now, what, 90? 90 years old. She came on over to Bishop Goodwin in our six, in, uh, huh? <laughs> she came in over here in our 20. And what you say, my Oliver? I make you make a start for heaven. My God. You know, you got to have a one chuck mind over here. I tell him you got to be like that horse. The man don't want to turn to the lifter. He put the blinders on. Well, you got to go forward. My God say, God, he that begin a good work in you. The devil is a liar. Oh, yes. He, God, will help you. That's right. Paul said, having obtained help from God. I can look at Bishop Green. All these years, say when he was 15. He 86 still on the firing line. God will help you, saints. God going to help you. Oh, yes. He will help you. Paul said, having obtained help from God, I, I was able to, you can make it in a young age. Amen. You're going to have a lot of trouble, a lot of opposition. Oh, yeah. But just, you make a start for heaven. That's what I look at. You better get me Philippians chapter 1 and verse 6. Be mindful of this very thing. Mm -hmm. Philippians 1 and 6. Yes. What is it? Being confident of this very thing. Confidence of this very thing. Yeah, that he which have begun a good work in you. See, God ain't going to do a half done job. No, sir. He ain't bring you this far to leave you. No, sir. They sing a song. Nobody told me the road was going to be easy. I came in this way at the age of 21. No mother, no father. Father died at a young age. I must be 11 years when he died. No, my brother wasn't in there, no family member. I didn't know nobody. But you say, let him forth by the right way. He that begin a good work in you. Yes. Do you hear him say? Being confident. Being confident of this very thing. Don't cast away your confidence. Whatever you're holding heaven for. Don't cast it That's away. It, Be you that are tiring for the Holy Ghost. Being confident of, this very, of thing, this very thing. That he which have begun a good work in you. He, I thank God for you, Brother Jackson, coming all the way from Chicago, moving closer to the church. You don't have to give up. Be confident. I have somebody call me from Chicago, Eleanor. Say, we heard the broadcast. Being confident of this very thing. Of this very thing. That he which have begun a good work in you. God didn't start you to leave your pathway. Come on, Bishop. He's not a God like that. He's a God that's going to bring you all the way. Yes. He that began a good work in you. Yes. He, he perform it. He's going to perform it. Unto the day of Jesus Christ. He's going to bring you over the humps. Some kind of going to hit some big humps. But he, he give it grace. He know how to give you more grace. That's right. He sure. know how to give you more patience. Going back to, to James 4 and verse, verse uh, start from the fifth verse. He know how to give you more grace. When it seems that you're looking at it. But the Holy Ghost say, go forward. Oh, Moses, he was coming up against, here go the test, the trial of test of his life. He, he done ex coming out of Egypt. Now, God, the Red Sea was before him. Mm -hmm. And then he behind him, here coming Pharaoh and his army. My God, and then he make it worse. The people start complaining. What's the matter? Because there was no grave in Egypt, you bring us forth to die. Oh, oh, Moses. I God lived there and cried to God. God said, why are you crying to me? 
my God, uh, stretch forth the rod and divide the Red Sea. Command the people, tell them, go forward. Go forward! Amen. Amen. I said, God know how to fight for you. When it seems like it get rough and it get tough and folks start looking at you, wondering how you're going to make it true. Just remember, he that began a good work yes. in you. We'll he's going to perform it. The day of Jesus My Christ. God, he know how to give you the grace to go through it. Get me James chapter 1, James chapter 4 and verse 5. What is that? Read on, sir. Do you think the scripture says in vain? In vain? The spirit that dwelleth in us lusts to envy. Read on. But he give more grace. You see, it, it, it don't lust, don't envy nobody. Mm -mm. But he give you, when it seems like it get, when you're dear and Lord, I don't know what to do. I get on my knees. I say, if you don't help me, who else going to help me? If you don't bring me out, who else going to bring me out? I don't have no one else to look to but you. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, send help. He give it grace. Wherefore he said, Yes. God resisted the proud. Yes. But give grace unto the humble. He know how to give you grace. He know when it seemed like. Mm. He said, well, what he told Paul? My grace. It's sufficient. My grace is sufficient. My, he said he went to Paul and said, I went three times. Twice. That it might depart. That's right, Bishop. He said, Paul, sometimes you keep going back. And it seems like it's not moving. Just wait on God. Just wait on God. Glory to God. Job said, though you slay yes. me, yet I'm going to trust you. Yes. Lord, I'm doing this. I do, all, I do all this for you, Lord. But the condition's still there. Do you hear what he said? He gave it grace. Unto the humble. He gave it grace. Unto the humble. And to the humble. Unto the humble. Read on. Submit yourself, therefore. Submit yourself, therefore. To God. To who? To God. Submit yourself, therefore. To God. Just give over to God. Just give over to God. Sometimes you don't know how you're coming out. But I'm here to encourage you, saints. Your way of escape already made. Sometimes you don't know how you're coming out. Sometimes I admit it get rough. Sometimes it look like it's getting worse. Hallelujah. Sometimes, my God, it look like the enemy getting strong and the fight getting longer. But just give it over to God. Submit yourself. Yes, just therefore. submit yourself. Therefore, to therefore, God. to who? To God. Just turn it over to God. I tell God, if you don't help me, who else going to help me? If you don't bring me out, who else going to bring me out? I'm not able, Lord, but you able. But he says, submit yourself. Therefore to God. Therefore to God. Resist the devil. Do, do what? Resist. Resist. The devil. Resist. Resist. Resist the devil. Resist. You got to know how to fight. That's it, you don't know how to resist. Say we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But again, I sometimes I see two men. I used to watch them wrestling. More than men, and he cried. And a man tried to put him down, but he up there just, what's the matter? I'm resisting. I'm resisting. You got to know how to resist the devil. My God, even if he knock you down, get up and fight. My God, sometimes the man have the man and he knock him down. But he jump up again and start fighting again. What's the matter? I don't want to be knocked out. I'm going to come on back fighting again. Resist the devil. Yes. Put up a fight, saints. Resist the devil. Resist my the devil. God, the thing might got you down. My God, he might knock you down the first time. But don't count yourself out. Come on back and fight again. He give it grace. He give it grace. Yes. What is it? Wherefore? Wherefore? But he give it grace, more grace. He give it, he will give you more grace. Yes, wherefore he said. He will give you more grace. 
He know how to give you more grace. That's it, Bishop. He know how to give Come you more on. grace. I don't care how bad it look. He know how to give you more grace. Sometimes you go at it and it seems like it's running out. Paul said, Paul was a praying man. He went, he gave it more grace. Yes, more to, grace. To who? Wherefore he said. He said. God resisted the proud. Resisted the proud. But give grace unto the humble. Unto the humble. Submit yourself. You just got to give over. Uh, saints used to sing that song in Columbia. Since they used to sing it, say, just give over. Say, my flesh don't want to suffer. But something within me, say, give over. Just give over to the will of God. Hey, you know, it's the enemy don't want you to give over. But you got to say, Lord, take it all, Lord. Take all my heart. Paul says, no more I. But who, Paul? But Christ, which liveth in me. Sometimes you have to get rid of I and give over to God. Oh, Lord, I'm giving it over to you, Lord. I'm giving it over because what did he say? God resisted the proud. Resisted the proud. But give grace unto the humble. You know, God will give you the grace to go through that test. So don't. Sometimes you try to figure it out, but you can't figure it out. Just turn it over to God. He giveth grace yes, unto to the, the humble. And to the humble. Submit yourself. Just if you can just submit. Lord, my flesh don't want to do it. But please, Lord. I tell him if you don't help me, who else gonna help me? I have, that's a way, that's my way of submitting down. Lord, if you don't bring me out, who else gonna bring me out? Lord, I'm not able, but you able. I don't have what it takes, but you have what it takes. Lord, help me, Lord. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Lord. I need help. Oh, God, you, I need you to help me. You know you need help. One day oh, yes. said, this poor man cry. The Lord heard him and deliver him out of all his fear. God will deliver your saints. Just turn it over to God. Tell God, help me, Jesus. Lord, I need you to help me. He giveth more grace. Yes. Whatever you're buckling right now, whatever warring in your mind right now, just beg God to help me. Help me, Jesus. Well, Lord, I need grace. you, Lord. You know what I'm buckling my mind. You know in my fight Lord Jesus you know my fight you know my uprising you know my down sitting you know my going out you know my coming in you know the fight I'm having he warring in my mind trying to bring me back to captivity Activity. Oh, wretched man that I am, who gonna deliver me? I got from the body of this dead. Oh, saints, you gotta bring it under subjection. Beg God to help you. My God, he know the way you take. He know you're uprising. He know what you're going through within this body. Just beg God, help me, Lord. He give it grace. Yes, but he gave him more grace. Give more grace. Wherefore he said. He said. God resisted the proud. Read on. But give grace unto the humble. Read on. Submit yourself therefore to God. Lord, I'm giving over to you, Lord. Lord, I can't fight no longer. You said the buckle is not mine. The buckle belongs to you. All right, Lord. Take it, Lord. I surrender. What's the matter? I submit. Submit to God. to God. Submit therefore to God. Yes. Resist the devil. Resist. And he gonna fight your mind now. You sure? You, you better do something. No. No. You better block that thing out your mind. He fight in your mind. Say I'm resisting the devil. He tried to bring me back. But I'm resisting the devil. I'm resisting the devil. I'm resisting him. He want to bring me down. He want to take me down. He want to tell me to give it up. But I'm resisting. I'm fighting for my soul. I'm resisting the devil. Paul said, I fought a good fight. I kept the faith. 
I have to resist. There's so many things going against a child of God. You go to bed resisting. You get up resisting. You're in your sleep resisting. You're fighting night and day. I'm resisting the devil. I'm buckling saints. I'm buckling the morning. I'm buckling the noonday. I'm buckling late at night. I'm resisting the devil. He fighting in my mind. He warring in my mind. He want to bring me back into captivity. But I got to resist the devil. I got to run for my life. There's a war going on. And I got to fight. Resist the devil. Hallelujah. He trying to bring me down. He tried to take me back. But I know God. The God of all grace. He going to help me. He going to bring me out. Everything. My God. Everything going against me. But I got to fight. I got to fight. Young people, you got to fight. Young brothers, you got to fight. Middle age, you got to fight. Elderly, you got to fight. Ain't no retirement with the devil. You got to fight him right on to the end. Paul I fought a good fight. I've kept the faith. Henceforth is laid up for me. A crown of righteousness. You got to fight. You got to fight. The enemy coming after you. Somebody says, Satan is on my track. He trying to turn me back But I got to make this journey Somehow I got to make this journey Satan is on my track Hallelujah. Hallelujah He trying to bring me on back yes, Lord. I yes, got to Lord. fight You got to fight There's a war going yes, on yes, You got to fight yes. Fight the good fight of yes, faith Lord. Eternal life yes. is involved. Yes. Everything going against you. Hallelujah to God. But you got to fight. Yes. Ain't no time to throw, play around. Ain't no time to joke yes. around. Ain't no time to look cute. Is a war going on? Is a war going on? Is a war going on? Is a must win war? I got to fight. I got to win. I've been done all to stand. Stand there for. I'm buckling. I'm fighting the good fight of faith. We're coming out. We're coming out. The church coming out. The church coming out. The church coming out. The church coming out. I don't care how bad it looks. Job said, Though you slay me, yet will I trust you. All my appointed time, I'm gonna wait. A change got to come. 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 A change must come. A change will come. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. You gotta fight. You better fight. You better fight. Paul said, For this cause, I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart. He said, Be of good cheer, Paul. I'm going to give you the grace. My grace. My grace is sufficient for thee. My strength, when it seems so weak, when it seemed like you're going down. He said, my strength is sufficient for thee. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. My grace is it's sufficient for thee. My strength yes, is made perfect in my weakness. Salvation. Most gladly, my therefore, without my glory my in my, is that the power my of God, the power my of God has rest upon my you. My the power of God going to bring you out. When you go through the water, the power of God. Yes, when you go through the river, it will overflow you. Through the fire, the power of God. Yes. God bless you. Yes. God keep you. Yes, he said, I'm going to help yes, thee. I'm going to help yes, thee. Lord. I will help yes, thee. Yes, I will uphold thee. Yes, God bless you. God keep yes, you. Yes, pray Lord. for me, I pray. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.